Hello YouTube, it has been a while, uh, well not that long, really, like since my last video, which is the Christmas one. Uh, it's been a couple days, and I got a PS4 for Christmas, I don't think I told anyone that, but yeah, I got a PS4 for Christmas, I'm using the standard mic that it comes with, it's not a terrible mic, it just doesn't have the best sound quality, but when I join matches, I realize people don't paint their guns for some reason, they, they, they only use camos and things like that, because I, I don't know, they just don't paint their guns. So if anyone doesn't paint their guns because it's difficult or they have trouble painting their guns, I have found a really easy way to do that. For me, personally. It ends up looking really cool. It's very simple. Uh, I'll do an example, or, or I'll show you a couple examples of mine. I, I name them stupid things. But what I do is I'll take two simple little things, like a pattern, and then a whatever color background I want. And at the top, I'll pretty much do the exact same thing. But yeah, I just take like a pattern and a colored background of some sort, and it just makes it makes the guns end up looking pretty pretty decent in my opinion. If you're lazy and you don't like doing things like that, or like ones like this, they take a little longer, but they aren't that much different. If if you get the right color combination, the right design, your guns can end up looking pretty badass, in my opinion. Made in India, I like that. Or if you, if, if you uh, I don't know where this one came from. I was really bored one day. I've spent so much time in the, in the paint editor for stuff. Just, I love messing around with the guns and like showing different paint designs. I don't know where this one came from. This is one of my worst ones, actually. I don't, it's too pink. But I, I guess pink works with light machine guns. Also, what's cool is that you can put a paint job and a camo on a gun at the same time, which is pretty badass. There's ones like this. I don't know how I do these one. This one actually. I just this is a little tiny bit more advanced, but not so advanced that it's impossible to do. I think one of the this one is the first paint design I ever made. I'm not very proud of it, but it looks pretty chill. Uh, this one is probably one of the ones I'm most proud of. Just it's so simple. Two two things. Uh, up here, yeah. There's, it's so, there's so such simple designs, and so easy to make, and they still make your guns look pretty cool. You know, I'll I'll do an example of that. I need to find a gun that I actually want to customize, because most of the guns on here, I don't know. I I don't like customizing on most of these guns. I've already gone over all this, everything. A haymaker. I like this gun. See how much surface area I have. That's a pretty good amount. Uh, now, what kind of pattern would I like to put on the side of this one? The spider web look cool. Maybe two spider webs. Yeah, it looks decent. Not my favorite, but it looks decent. Gonna move that one a little further down. I just know I don't finish up here. And up here, so it doesn't look totally weird, I'll put some straight lines. And I'll color those, yeah, sort of a crimson reddish color. And I'll put those on the sides of the gun so it doesn't look totally weird. I want that to be at 90 degrees. Eh, I always have trouble getting it to 90 for some reason. And some design of any sort, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I ha a lot of these, I don't know, I don't like the looks of them. I want something that's very, it's a shotgun, so I need something 
this probably doesn't match it at all, but it looks decent, so I'm going to have that right about there on it. And there, there's a, there's some red spider webs on. What is the the background? Shouldn't be white, should it? Yeah. I th oh no, that's not right at all. I think I'm gonna keep this like a light pink color. I really enjoy that light pink color with the red. There, and that's that, that's a simple design that you can do. Just, it, they aren't that hard, and I mean, I hope this helped a little bit for some people that are really lazy and don't like creating big, paint, like going on pa big paint projects and watching long YouTube videos that teach you how to make incredible ones. This is, it's simple, it still looks nice, you can put them on all your guns, it's, it's not a hard thing to do. I don't have very, I don't, ha I ran out of names. I'm not I'm not a creative person. That's probably why I'm making this video. See? Very simple. Looks nice. And I can use that on any of my guns. So uh I, I guess drop a like if you enjoyed this video and crap. Uh oh, and uh before anyone like leaves or anything, emblems like this, I basically did the exact same thing. As you can see. Three. Three things. It it th this I had to get in, in a pack. One of those containers that you get in the black market but yeah if you enjoyed this video please uh drop a like and don't subscribe if you don't want to i guess i mean it, it's all it all depends on you i i guess i hope you had a good holidays area place thing and uh i will see you next time or not you'll probably just be watching this video i won't see you at all there's a screen probably never met most of you guys probably nice people though, i bet Happy holidays.